Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to see the most beautiful feature of Flexa WAPI, which is Chats Inbox. So a Chats Inbox is a feature that allows you to interact with your customers who have responded to your broadcast campaigns. So in the previous videos, you have seen that we created and approved the templates and then we sent out our first broadcast campaign. So when you send a broadcast campaign, the customer receives the message. And if they want to reply back to you, that's where you get all your responses from the customers. Okay. Now let's go and check this chat. This is the customer that sent a high message. Now we have set up a welcome bot inside this WhatsApp. Therefore, as soon as the customer responded with a hi, we have already replied them with our first automation bot. We have also added a few action buttons over here and the customer has responded with explore use cases, right? Then we have another automation that is already set up inside our Flexa WAPI business account. Therefore, the system sends him another automated message. Now, this is a custom message that the customer has sent. Now you have the opportunity to reply to this customer and interact with him directly from this chat. Okay. One more important thing you should know. Across the contacts, you have two different types of messages. A day left to reply and you can no longer reply. So these are two different types of uh, message that you need to understand. Whenever you initiate a broadcast campaign to any customer, if the customer reply back to you, you have 24 hours window. Okay. So Meta allows you to verify and send any kind of custom message to any contact if the customer has initiated a chat with you. This customer, for example, Leon Barzi, so she has tried to contact us, okay, but she did not send any message. If I go inside this, you can see here the contact number is recorded but there is no message exchange, which means the user has not yet initiated any conversation with you. Therefore, in this case, we are not allowed to send them direct messages. Instead, if you see here, this contact will automatically be added to your contact without you adding the contact. Okay, let's check and confirm this. See this, Leon Barzi, it's automatically added. How do we know these contacts are getting automatically added because they are not assigned any group, which means these are the customers that are interacting with you. Okay. So this customer, if you want to contact him, you need to send a broadcast message to this customer first. Okay. So now take an example of another customer, Thiago Serra which we have a day left to reply. Meta will always keep reminding you that how many hours or how many days you have left to reply. For example, this customer has contacted us three hours ago. Therefore, 24, 21 hours are left for us to reply. As long as the customer is replying back to you, another 24 hour window is going to be open. Once this conversational window is open, now you do not need to approve any kind of template, but you can send them any message and response just like your normal WhatsApp. So for example, let me uh, read these questions and I'm going to reply to this person.
So I replied to this customer as a normal chat, right? So this template, this message is not a template. This is a simple message. And why I am able to send him a message because this conversation is now initiated by the customer. So Meta opens this window for you where you can send him any kind of message. You can also make use of emojis here or send them any sort of message or even the PDF file or video. From this option, you have the, to, you have the option to send them any of your previously attached templates. So for example, in this case, Leon Barzi is my uh, customer that initiated something, but they actually did not send any message. So in this case, what I can do, I can simply go here, select my template from this, okay, test marketing template one, and I can simply send the first message to them, okay? Let me check. Okay, so this is the contact and this is the template. I will click on send campaign to send this message to this contact, okay? Okay, so that's how you are going to use the chat inboxes and you also have the option to use quick replies or what we called as scanned responses, okay? So quick replies are something that if you understand your business, there are always some sort of common questions that people always ask, like what is the price of this? How can I do something in this? So these can be managed using quick replies. So you go on quick replies and from this option, create new reply, you can set up some quick replies. Okay, let's set up a quick reply. Pricing of Wapi. This is your body where you are going to send them the custom message. This is the automation type where you select just a quick reply and here you have keyword trigger. Okay, so let's say I'm going to write some options like Flexa Wapi pricing, price, pricing, plans, plan that's it okay as you can see here there is no space after the comma and do not put any comma at the last otherwise it is going to treat this as a blank value make sure that there is no comma at the end okay you can use any number of keywords separated by commas to trigger this reply as soon as customer ask you about the pricing details, okay? Flexa Wapi has several different plans and you can find more information about them on our official website. You can give your official website link. Something like this. And this is the message of quick reply. Insert this message, which is now saved for your chat inboxes. Once you go on this screen, if somebody asks you the price, then you can simply use quick reply and it automatically loads this message for you, okay? So from this option, you can send this quick reply message to them. That's how easy it is, okay? So chat inboxes allows you to interact with your customers as soon as they send you any messages. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video made you clear about chat inboxes. Have a nice day.